Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'm gonna continue my last play series of Endless Space 2. So, in the last episode we found out that the Horatio have assimilated Vega in the Amoebas, which came with a large surprise to me. I didn't expect that at all, that they would do such a move. Not sure what happened exactly, I suppose that they have taken the quest for them and finish it. Anyway, that's a bummer. We lost that trait, we lost that population for now. However, the plus side is that we will probably be able to beat their borders when it comes to border frictions and that will in turn help us ensure a, bit, a lot more pressure on the Horatio which we will be able to use to our advantage. In the meantime, let's simply end turn and let's continue. Okay, now the scientists are in the lead, the question is which other faction we would love to get. I'm thinking about taking the militarists. Not too much about the pacifists. Let's pick the militarists for now. There we go. Managed to get them in. Okay, Vega got hacked, so now we're gonna embed the sleeper there. Okay, once sleeper is in, we also have attracted a new community and new population type by assimilating the Aether there at Edisir. So let's move our fleets. Now let's colonize Kionos. Okay, there's very little food here. Could grab the arid colonization, but that'll be for later. Speaking of that, we should probably queue that up to simply have that ready. In the meantime, let's start with this Ash World. The plus side is that we have high industry from the start. And the minus side is that we will have a little bit of trouble with the approval here due to the fact that we are at a very... how would we... how should we call it? A very difficult place to live. So either way, let's start with the basics as always. The drone networks, the cerebral reality, Xeno industrial infrastructure, sustainable farms, level 2 modernization. We should queue that up as first because it doesn't take up any production, simply takes a flat one turn always. Okay. And we have gained the uh, control over the constellation and that grants us additional dust. So that's great. Okay, so let's continue on. Have a hacking operation left. Hmm, what I'm thinking we should probably start hacking the pirates. Hmm. Should probably also start an accelerator there. Let's end turn. 
Now I want to install a backdoor there, and I want to start hacking the Horatio, steal their tech and do anything that we need. Okay, looks like there is a military behemoth of an unknown empire. There are a bunch of curiosities here that we could explore if we had a higher curious curiosity expedition power, which we don't have currently. Okay, so nothing here. Nothing here, nothing there. There's something at Vegas. Let's, so let's pull that way. We could support the pirates a little bit more to get some more approval with them. They're still making prowlers. Look, just sit back and watch the fireworks. Okay, I'm more interested in keeping the relationship <laughs> with them cordial. As that way they won't attack us and they we won't get pirate marked. Okay, now let's see. Filter barges are done, so now our income will get even higher. Okay, and we also can start building the behemoths. First, I'm gonna wait for these two tags to get done. Simply to have something... something to not upgrade those behemoths after the fact. Okay. Next turn. Okay, the behemoth generators are done. Keep stellar system clear of enemy ships. That might be difficult unless they are not counting the pirate ships as enemy for now. Okay, now Considering the fact that we don't have much to do here besides grabbing these upgrades, which we should actually do, let's also build the portal. We should also get the spin project up. Okay. I suppose so we should send some more population to Stateris. I want to spread those Sisters of Mercy that way. Let's take a look, because I don't remember exactly what we get from these. Plus 20% health regeneration ratio on systems. Hmm. Okay, not bad. Okay, they are fanatical. So, militarist events support religious political opinion, anti industrialist and religious. Well, the Vaulters are scientists and pragmatic. So militarists support the scientists. Yet they, on the other hand, are religious and arts also looks like pious. We could boost the population. 
You have that dark glitter which we won't use for anything. As well as the Sisters of Mercy as well. There's always some additional income here. Okay. Let's keep this as it is and let's and turn and continue. Okay, here I go, see is ready. Let's take a look. The next recolonization is in 12 turns. The next planet that I think we should colonize is Tylus because it has a lot of planets in that system and because of that it will have a high Fitzy output ultimately. Okay, let's see this minor civilization remains. Oh, nice. Found the honeycomb scope, which we can now build. It's quite cheap, and it also boosts our vision around our planets quite heavily. So let's build those up. Okay, now we're building the analytical engine. This will boost our dust further, which will be nice. Okay, this call of spaceman the spaceman has ended, so now our approval is back up. Now, another thing is we have the core worlds trade, and while we are below the colonization threshold as it is now, we get plus 10 extra approval. However, if we colonize another planet, we'll lose that 10 approval and this will hit us a little bit. So we might actually keep our planet count a bit lower, simply to have that approval for now. Okay, now let's see. There is another colony building at Rutanev. Your contact with but us I more worry than joy. intend to ask Horatio them to remove that outpost. Let's see. Horatio doubts your motives and your ethics. Hmm. We also deplore your lack of refinement. Okay, we could press them. We could also condemn them. I suppose this one will be better. Hmm. Okay, I got that done. We're at 60% when in unlocking a new hero. Okay, we could send the Argosi to Tylus at once. What I intend to do. I'm also thinking about starting a war with the Horatio because they are encroaching on my territory and I don't like that at all. Okay, anyway. Let's end turn. Let's continue. Okay, the Behemoth Analyzers are done. We have Hag Gaikon. Now let's create a backdoor. And I'm gonna use that backdoor to start hacking Gemini. Or should we... Or should we start hacking Fatya? I believe this is even a better idea. So let's start this. Let's pick an accelerator here. Let's also put a defensive program on Staterus. We should also put one on Kionos. However, if we do that, we won't have enough bandwidth to support any additional programs. Even now we, I feel like we are quite heavily using our bandwidth, so let's use the piggyback here to get some of that bandwidth back. Okay, now it is here. 
should send some vaulters this way I suppose or we need to wait till we get some additional population units in the meantime I should build a portal here also the honeycomb scope okay let's move on also I'm thinking about building the academy embassy that would be that will help us get additional heroes faster and let's start working on our scientific behemoth. First question is what do I want it to do? There are a few ways we could use that. We could grab the stellar node study in order to decrease the science cost of, of the technologies by percent. We could grab the basic node analyzer to grab extra resources from them. And those are the only two tags right now. I know that those aren't the only ones because we get the advanced node analyzer. We could grab some extra resources or we could grab some additional industry for terraformation and anomaly reduction. Also the advanced climate engineering provides us with can with depletion points cancellation. For now, I suppose I'm mostly interested in the <laughs> in the stellar stellar note study. So I believe I'm gonna specialize this first behemoth that way. So let's see. Got those modules installed on all spots. However, we're gonna need an additional engine here, so we'll have to reduce that a bit. Also, we can actually upgrade those no those modules. Let's take a look at our weaponry. Let's keep the or rather let's grab the beam. It's the most universal weapon when it comes to range. Let's get some shielding up. We can get one additional weapon. We got one beam, so let's grab some slugs now. Okay, that should do it for now. Let's kill that scientific behemoth up. Okay, let's see here. There's a subterranean curiosity here. What do we got? Antimatter. Okay, there is another curiosity at Horolium. Let's send our fairing that way and let's see if we can. Oh, I'm sure we have what you need. Let's see if we can get something out of it. Okay. So let's continue on. Okay, we got a new population collection bonus from the Vaulters. Get plus ten percent on systems with vaulters. That's quite nice. Also, they've got that plus zero point one science per manpower on systems. That makes it worthwhile to build up the defensive forces there. Okay, another level up on Petrov Jutka. So let's see here, Clericar. Corrections not too useful because we only have that transvine which we are not using currently. Efficiency aficionado might prove good. 
However, I am thinking about the optimal operations expert. We have quite a bit of population right now, so we're gonna get the most out of it this time. So let's take a look. This planet generates the most food. And also the most industry of all of these currently colonized planets. I'd like to get that lava planet. We're gonna need the maximize exploitation tech for that. Let's kill that up actually. Now let's look at Micra again. Could build the Budokai bunkers. Let's get those up. Also let's expand the mines. I suppose we should also build the shipyard. Because we're gonna need to build some additional ships in another system looks like it. Now let's see. 10 turns till we get a free colonization. Let's take a look here. We only have ash plants that we can colonize for now. There, there's also a lava world and a desert world. Okay, for now let's put the Argosi to sleep. Hmm. We also have access to the Hyperium engine, so we can get some of those going. Also looks like it we don't have access to any tier 2 resources. The only place that we can get antimatter currently is Rotanev and looks like there is some adamantium and Gaikon. That's not too much feel like we're gonna need more. Okay, anyway, let's continue on. Okay, as you know, industrial infrastructure is ready here. Could grab the colonial exchange or the spin project. I'm more interested in the second one. And we didn't manage to keep Stellaris clear of ships. Well, it looked like that would be difficult to keep. Anyway. Hmm. Okay, looks like Horatio is thinking about going to war with me, so I need to step up my defenses a bit. Let's build the Budokai bunkers as our first priority now. I'm gonna have to start building up our fleets. Okay, I'm gonna prepare a bunch of ships here. Let's get a couple of those missile ships going. Let's end the turn. Now I have bumper crop. Could celebrate, but I don't have that much to develop there, so let's save. Now we got the quick learners. Gonna grab the deep space dust scoop for extra dust. 
we could grab the Strat Recycler for extra strategic resources. Hmm, that's quite interesting. I believe I'm gonna go for the Dust and the Strat Recycler. Let's confirm this. Hmm. Sadly, they are torn between those who feel nostalgia for their past and others who have an over desire to forget it. Hmm? Okay. Let's see. The analytical engine is done. So now we get 39 dust. From it. Not much, but always something. Okay, let's queue up the Academy Embassy. Let's, let's move again. Got trial by fire. Hmm. Could refuse. Let's start the trial. I'm gonna start with that. Later we'll see what will happen. Okay, now here I wanna send those probes out. Let's see if we can find something. Okay, now let's put this fairing to sleep for now. Or rather, let's send it to Horolium. Okay, Behemoth Basic Chromatology is done. So now we have access to the Climate Engineering and the Advanced Node Analyzer. I have 10 Sisters of Mercy, so now we are getting extra religious support. And we get a couple of Calgaros on Pollux. Now they're the best at Fernal Worlds, so let's send them there. Also, let's take a look here. Ed is here. Could build the miners' union as well. Really, really need more food here. some endless artifacts or we have theoretically access to them I suppose it's because of the Calgaros let's see yeah this is for favoring okay okay our fleet finally arrived home Let's see, I need to get some support to Staterus, so let's send these ships that way. Ok, 
Okay, and I'm gonna take one more turn. Then I'm gonna end this episode, because it's already time for that. Now that we have the PEF scale accelerators, we can build the exoscience stations, magnetic field generators, and also the... Hmm. Okay, we can start building those up. Let's get the field generators as well. Let's boost our science a bit. In a few of these worlds. Okay, next will be maximize exploitation and we're gonna get access to the lava worlds. Okay, we have very little food here. We really could use more of it. It's gonna need the botanical scanning for that. So let's queue that up. Also could use the poopser program for extra for an extra planet. And let's see. We can also grab the Citadel blueprints. That wouldn't be bad. From other things we have the Behemoth Miners, as well as the Mission Flexibility. This tag would be useful because it will unlock us additional support slots, so this will help our Science Behemoths as well. But first things first, I believe I'm gonna grab the Multi-Thread Management. Next, the commercial frameworks. Okay, Eternal Sunshine is ended. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, there's some antimatter here. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Send the Argosy down here instead. Gonna colonize this world to get access to that place. Also, speaking of the Argosy, we could edit it and grab some better engines. So let's do that. I'm gonna send it back to Kionos. There I'm gonna upgrade it and send it down over here. Okay. In the meantime, let's send this one probe out this way and see if we find any other star lines. And let's send this fairing back. Okay, so I suppose that this is a good moment to end this episode, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them, and I hope I'll see you guys at the next episode. See you around!